Hey guys, what's going on? So it's Saturday, which means I won't be making my typical weekday breakfast, which is boring oatmeal. And usually on Saturdays, I make either scrambled eggs with toast or scrambled eggs with potatoes. And today I will show you how to make crispy breakfast tomato. Wait, did I say tomatoes? Whoops. <laughs> crispy breakfast potatoes. All right, let's get started. So, for making breakfast potatoes, I like to use fingerling potatoes. They're readily available almost at any supermarket and try to buy the ones that are almost similar in size. And for the first one, I like to use yellow fingerlings. I like color in my dishes. Yellow fingerlings are very typical. And then these are called red thumb fingerlings. They, they have a really nice pink flesh. And these are basically what my neighbor's dog leaves on my porch. Um, actually, these are actually purple fingerlings. And to get started, just boil up a pot of water and throw in the potatoes and cook for 15 minutes. If the potatoes are larger in size, you may have to cook them for a bit longer. Once done, you're just gonna remove them from the pot, throw them in a strainer, and make sure you remove as much water as possible and then let them cool down. Once the potatoes are warm to the touch, you can place them in an oven safe pan or, ba or uh, metal baking sheet lined with aluminum foil. And what I'm doing here is I am starting to pretty much break open the potatoes with a fork. You don't have to, you don't have to break, them, break them up too much. We're not trying to mash them up. We just wanna expose the flesh inside while breaking the skin. Doing this will actually help the potatoes stay moist on the inside, yet also have a nice and crispy outside. The, the potatoes should be easy to smash. If you're having a hard time smashing the potatoes, then they are not cooked all the way. They're a bit undercooked. So you may have to throw them back into the water to cook them for just a little bit longer. Next, you're gonna drizzle a little bit of olive oil over the potatoes. Make sure once, once you drizzle the olive oil over, spread some of those oils all over the other potatoes over spots that don't have oil in them. This will help the seasoning stick a little bit better. Next, add freshly ground black pepper and then follow up with a nice pinch of salt. Usually this is all you really need to season the potatoes, but I do like using Old Bay on them. This gives it a nice little kick and I sprinkle um, a liberal amount because I just love the flavor it goes on that goes on with the potatoes. Once that's done, turn on your oven to the broil setting and place it on the top rack. So in this phase, you want to keep an eye on the potatoes because this, there's a chance that if you don't keep an eye on them, they may burn. And every oven is different. For me, it took about seven to eight minutes to get a nice, nice even uh, uh, coating or a crispy coating all over the potatoes. So your results may vary, but but nonetheless, it should look like this. The, the edges and parts of the surface of the potatoes, the flesh should, should be browned, should be nice and crispy. And then when you're done, just serve them up on a plate and they're ready to go. And that's it. You now know how to make crispy breakfast potatoes. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like what you see, please do like and subscribe and I will see you later.